While you will have to expect the unexpected, knowing everything you can about a dog before you adopt them is vital. Animal Wise helps by explaining the differences between male and female Siberian Huskies. Size. Their robust body and thick coat make them appear larger than they are, but the Siberian Husky is considered a medium-sized breed. Their breed standard indicates that these animals should not exceed 62 pounds or 28 kilos in weight. The average weight of the Siberian Husky is between 45 to 60 pounds or 20 to 27 kilograms in males. Their height at the withers is usually greater in males, measuring between 21 to 23.5 inches or 53 to 60 centimeters. Females are somewhat lighter, reaching weights between 35 to 50 pounds or 16 to 23 kilograms. They measure between 20 to 22 inches or 51 to 56 centimeters. The weights and heights of huskies can vary depending on their genetic line. Most important is keeping the animal within a healthy weight range, paying special attention to avoid obesity problems. Character The character of any dog depends on a wide range of factors, with their sex being one of the least relevant. There is no evidence to suggest major differences between the temperament of male and female Siberian Huskies. Whether a dog is more or less affectionate, obedient, calm, sociable or tolerant is a consequence of their individual genetics and their experiences in the environment in which they were raised. In terms of character, choosing a male or female dog is not particularly important. Most imperative is guaranteeing correct socialisation, providing pleasant experiences, educating them in a positive way and adequately meeting all their physical, social and emotional needs. Discover the advantages of living with a Siberian Husky in the video we share on the card above. General Temperament While these are generalisations, both male and female Siberian Huskies tend to be friendly, sociable and tolerant dogs with other animals and children as long as they have been properly socialised. They have a very high energy level, meaning they require plenty of stimulation and daily exercise. They can be quite noisy, but are attentive and vigilant dogs. While they can be distrustful of strangers, they don't tend to be aggressive. A certain level of stubbornness can complicate training. Other differences Although sex in itself is not capable of justifying significant differences when it comes to the character of huskies, there are a series of behaviours that can differ between males and females. Among these behaviours, those that depend on hormone production generally stand out in terms of physical and behavioural differences. Female sex hormones are responsible for the appearance of heat in dogs, a period related to reproduction during which they undergo behavioural changes. Escapism is common since they are driven to find a male dog for mating purposes. They become more attention-seeking and can even display threatening behaviour, especially toward other dogs. Testosterone in males can cause them to be more territorial than usual, marking the home with urine, or also developing aggressive behaviour, especially toward other males. Should I adopt a male or female husky? After knowing their main differences, it's time to choose which sex best suits your way of life. As we've already mentioned, beyond size and some behavioural differences, there are no major distinctions. This means our decision should be based on personal tastes and the characteristics of our home environment. For example, if you already have dogs at home, you should consider how they relate to animals of different sexes. Sometimes coexistence between two males or two females is incompatible. Before making your decision, we recommend asking those responsible for the animals about their temperament, habits and previous experiences. This will give you a closer idea of the character of the animal, whether male or female. If you want to continue learning about dog breeds, don't miss the playlist we share here. Have you adopted a male or female husky? Share your experience in the comments and we'll see you next time.